When you look at the 2,200 or so systems that are sitting on the ground today, dry cast storage systems, about 70% are canistered systems, so there's a lot of them sitting on the ground. Some of them are in marine environments, some are not. So we've been pushing them very uh, aggressively to develop these NDE, these non-destructive examination methods, to be able to look at the surface of the cask that has the heat-affected zones, the weld areas are the areas that you're really concerned about. So we want these little robots, what they really are, are miniature robots, with the inspection technologies to be able to detect if there are cracks in those stainless steel canisters in the weld areas, because that's really the areas, again, you're, you're worried about. They've come a long way in the last year and a half that they've aggressively, the EPRI, Electric Power Research Institute, which you have a big contingent here in California, they've been working very aggressively on these NDE techniques. So are they to the point where we're happy with them yet? Are they able to detect cracks and in very well characterize not only finding a crack, but how deep is a crack, how far through wall? They're not quite there yet, but they are very, very close. We had a demonstration at the Palo Verde plant about two weeks ago, and the, the robotic technologies have tremendously improved over the last six months even. So that's probably why you're seeing it's not a now thing, because even we're not comfortable with the technologies that exist today, but it's very soon in the future that those technologies will exist that will be good enough to be able to detect cracks and also detect how deep those cracks are. 